All right, this is the video review and unboxing of the Panasonic RP-HD605N wireless noise canceling headphones. So this is, uh, I believe, Panasonic's first uh, entry into the high-end uh, headphone market. They include uh, the type of features you would expect for high-end over-the-ear headphones with Bluetooth and uh, high-res audio. <clears throat> So uh, it says uh, high res, Bluetooth, noise canceling with three levels, foldable style, uh, diaphragm speakers, long battery life, 20, claims 20 hours, uh, ambient sound enhancer, voice assistant activation, microphone, and uh, of course it includes some accessories that we'll see in a minute once we finish unboxing. All right, so there's the box. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this puppy up. Alright. Alright. Alright, so first thing, looks like we, we open the box. It has a nice case. Comes with an instruction manual. And let's see what's in this accessories box. Alright, looks like we have adapter for like a when you're on an airplane. <clears throat> and a micro USB charging cable. Alright, there we go. It looks to be about a foot and a half, two feet long. And then we'll open the case here. It's nice. Very nice. Feels like a like plastic uh, leather pleather. Alright, and this is the brown ones. They come in brown or black. Looks like a little foam here, I guess. Probably for shipping. Alright, and there you have your headphones. All right, so uh, immediately, oops, they uh, on the box, on the outside of the box, they actually looked a lot chunkier and, and, and heavier than I would have expected. These are actually very light. I, I gotta say, these are, um, these are, are pretty, pretty lightweight. I'll, uh, I'll try to get the weight spec on them uh, later in the video. Um, right off the bat, I, I try to look at the different buttons we have here. Plus minus, probably volume control, noise canceling button power on and off, charging cable, looks like a microphone, Bluetooth sign there, it looks like the cord where you can plug in a 3.5 millimeter. Uh, immediately stands out uh, are the controls, it's, we have swivel, length adjustment, it's pretty standard, but the, uh, the if you look here, it looks like the speakers uh, have some extra swivel action to them, which is pretty nice. So I will go ahead, um, here we go, nice headphones, and put these on the charger, and connect them to my phone, and we'll try it out. You can actually see the, the I don't know if it shows up on here, you can see the speakers through, through the mic, uh, the speaker covers in there, All right, and then the left and right are obviously labeled on the inside, and uh, We'll try these out. Hi, so I've thoroughly tested the earphones now and, and compared them to some of the other uh, headphones that I use on a regular uh, basis. I spend at least two hours a day with earphones on, sometimes upwards of eight or ten hours between uh, commuting and working uh, in an office space with ambient noise. So uh, some of these features like the, the noise cancellation are extremely important for me to be productive. So uh, the first thing I can tell you is it pairs well, uh, both with my phone. I had an Android phone and a PC, Windows PC, and it paired easily with both. Uh, I actually paired it with a couple of uh, phones, a Samsung and a, and a ZTE. Uh, the uh, features, uh, controls on it are a, a little unusual. Uh, the primary, it has a power button that doubles as a Bluetooth pairing button. You uh, power it on, hold it down for an extra second, and it goes into pair mode. 
Uh, it has another rocker switch that handles uh, a bunch of functions, volume up and down, uh, when you push it up and down. Uh, if you press on it once, it will pause the music. Uh, if you uh, tap it um, three, two times, I believe it skips to the end of a song, and three times it skips to the beginning of a song. And then if you um, uh, press it twice and hold it down, it'll go uh, fast forward. Press it three times and hold it down, it'll rewind. A bit complex all to have one control doing all that. But once you get beyond that, it's, it's not too bad. Probably the, the, the neatest control is it has this uh, ambient noise enhancing mode, which is uh, pretty slick. So if you're listening to your uh, music or you're listening to your audiobook, uh, one of the biggest annoyances for me is when somebody starts talking to me. And I gotta sit there and go, "What did you say?" Uh, you know, or I've gotta, you know, take off my headphones altogether. Um, this, with that uh, uh, ambient noise enhancing mode, if you cup your hands on the right ear cup, it cancels the active noise cancellation altogether and pa and lowers the volume on whatever you're listening to. So it's it's really pretty slick. Um, there's also a button button there uh, for uh, changing the. Uh, mode for noise cancellation. There are three modes, one, two, and three. There isn't a lot of detail in the manual on what the each mode means. Uh, I found two worked best for me. I noticed that uh, two, it canceled out some of the uh, like uh, air conditioning noise and stuff in my house. Uh, the other two modes maybe work better on the street. Hopefully in the future they explain that a little bit better. Sound quality wise, I'm impressed. You know, I, I uh, some of the phone earphones I would compare this to, um, I have the, the Bowers and Wilkins PX, I have the Parrot Zeek 3, and uh, these, these compare quite favorably. I would, I would say, uh, you know, volume wise, uh, they're, they're maybe not, you know, quite as much on the top volume, but audio fidelity is, is excellent. And I test, uh, I have, if you look at the read the review um, along with this, I'll list some songs that I usually test my earphones with. Uh, and it really, really sounds fantastic. Uh, my wife also tested them the same and, and she said they sounded great. Uh, so uh, overall, the, the earphones are nice. There's some things, you know, that, that uh, you know, maybe you want to think about. You know, there are plastic earphones. Um, I, all, the, all the materials on it are are plastic and, and vinyl. This is vinyl and the cups are vinyl. Um, the, the, the outside of it and, and the arms are all plastic. And plus it can be durable but it can also scratch so I would have a little bit of concern with that. Um, with the vinyl, sometimes vinyl can wear um, and uh, I have not been able to find online where they're selling replacement cups. When you're buying a high-end set of earphones it's sort of an investment um, the ability to buy replacement parts is important, but they just got on the market, so you know maybe they'll come up with uh, with uh, um, uh, replacement ear ear covers. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, let me put these back on. So um, uh, I wore these for an extended period of time to try them out. One thing I would say that is this way, you know, the 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 head width feels a little bit narrower. You know, it, it feels to, to press on my head a little bit more than some of these other earphones. It might be a break-in period thing. You know, eventually that, that might go away. They might get looser, but, you know, it's a little bit of a roll of the dice. Uh, you know, um, if uh, you are prone to headaches from, uh, from earphones that maybe press on your ears or your, your jaw tone a little bit much, you might want to think about uh, trying these out first for sure. Uh, uh, I Oh, yeah, a quick note. Um, when I was going through the, the box at the end here, I noticed that I had missed one of the uh, material items. There's a 3.5 millimeter jack, pretty long here, probably probably four feet long, um, that was also in the box. Uh, neglected to mention. That's pretty important. Uh, so, what sets these headphones apart from some of these other headphones, like the Parrot, Zeeks, and the and the, the uh, Bowers and Wilkins uh, PX? Well, because they're newer, they feature uh, some technology that you don't really see in uh, some of these headphones that have been on the market for a while. 
So uh, Bluetooth suffers from, I think it's a, bl a bandwidth issue um, with conventional audio streaming. And so the audio fidelity can be reduced a little bit uh, when transmitting sound over Bluetooth. So there's a couple of uh, technologies out there. Um, one of them is called uh, LDAC. It is a codec that I believe has been rolled into um, uh, Android 8.0 Oreo and higher. Uh, my phone's 7.0, so I can't actually test that. Um, uh, the other thing is, is it has uh, aptX, which is another technology from Qualcomm. And so you have to have a newer hardware with that Qualcomm uh, uh, feature in it in order to utilize that codec as well. And so both of those are uh, supposed to address you know, the inherent issues with, with Bluetooth. Uh, I, I still think even without that, they, they sound fantastic. The, these earphones are on the qual sound quality is on par. Um, one thing I did do, you know, I, like I said, I tested uh, the, the the peak volume on each of these devices just to kind of you know have something uh, to compare. Uh, the there was about five decibels less on this. It could be uh, due to a break-in period. It could be to the construction method they use for the speaker or the, the, the speakers in the earphone. They talk about like having all the sound directed through a channel in the middle of the earphones. Um, when you listen to them, they sound as loud as the other ones, but when I put it on the, on the sound uh, uh, meter, it, it, it was a little bit less, but they, they sound fantastic. Uh, one thing I will say though, is if you're a heavy, bass you'll see in, in my notes that I post along with this uh, there's some songs that I used to test that have really deep bass uh, almost all high-end headphones that I've heard so far all the uh, high-end headphones uh, high-end headphones that I've used so far um, have suffered from a buzzing with a really deep bass and um, these do a little bit not as bad as others uh, but they definitely do I think it's because the speakers get vibrated inside the plat inside the casing that they're in and they touch either the the the, um, the covering in, in some some fashion so overall I would rate these on par with other high-end earphones uh, I think MSRP is around 300 uh, it would probably be nice to see it in the 200 range but we'll have to see uh, you know after they're on the market for a while and uh, you know uh, the pluses, the sound quality, uh, the construction quality, uh, the uh, extra features like the ambient noise reduction is pretty killer, and the uh, aptX and uh, the the um, LDAC um, are all uh, really set it up uh, as the top of the end, which is a, a unique new thing for for Panasonic, which is a brand I've used in the past and I've had a lot of luck with. Uh, I just have never seen them in the high-end uh, headphone market. So that's my review. Uh, if you want to post any comments here, um, uh, go ahead. And uh, if you want more information on how it compares to the other headphones, I can try out specific songs or something if you'd like. And uh, I also have uh, the Bose Quiet Comfort uh, 35, um, which along, you know, uh, which is another uh, uh, popular high-end uh, uh, earphone or a headset over the year. Thank you.